We often start the meditation instructions by saying to watch your breath, which may be an unfortunate choice of words. It would be better to say, feel your breath. That's to let you know that we're not looking in our visual field or our imaginary visual field inside the mind. We're looking at the field of the body. And to say to watch your breath makes it sound like you're going to be focusing on something in front of your eyes. The only thing you could do that with, or only a part of the body you could do that with, would be the tip of your nose. Everything else in the body is behind your eyes. So back into the body. Don't go forward, go back into the body, down into the body. Wake up your awareness of that part of your general range of consciousness and dwell there. The verbs they use when they talk about getting into concentration are to enter and dwell. Concentration is said to be your dwelling, it's your home. And it's defined as citta segakata. Citta means your heart or mind. Eka means one. Haga has many meanings, but the meaning most relevant here is a gathering place. Like the hall where the monks gather to do their bosidas called the Ubosidaga, where they gather to have their meals is a pataga. And the noun for the object of your meditation, Aramana, literally means support, like the floor that supports you in a house. So think in those terms. Enter, dwell, gather, settle in, back into the body. Think of the breath surrounding you on all sides, bathing you on all sides. And you're aware on all sides. The sense of focus here is more focus on being fully present in the present moment. You'll be putting a little bit of pressure on the body to stay here, otherwise the mind will slip away. But not so much pressure that, it, that you make the breath uncomfortable. Here again, some people complain about the word concentration. It sounds like you have to furrow your brows, tense up around the object to make sure you don't slip off. But there are other ways of concentrating as well. When you're fully absorbed, say, making a piece of art, any physical or manual skill, you're totally in the present moment, totally aware all around. That's the image you should hold in mind. You are concentrated. There's a concentric quality of the awareness you're trying to develop here. But again, it doesn't have to be tense. In fact, they talk about wherever you focus, let things dissolve away, let tension dissolve away. People who teach tracking talk about having scattershot vision, where you walk through the forest. You don't know where the tr tracks are going to be that you're looking for. And so instead of focusing on one little spot here or one little spot there, you're trying to be fully aware to your, the full range of your visual field, softly, but steadily. So again, think of being fully arranged of your body field here, fully aware of your body field here, steadily. That's the focus of the steadiness of what you're trying to do here. Now this may go against some old habits, but as I said the other night, we're working with nature, but we're not just following the nature of things on their own. The nature of things on their own is to wander around. You were resisting that. We're building a place to stay, 
I can't think of the image of a house. You dwell here. You keep it in good repair. And you're not going anywhere else. So you breathe in certain ways to make this a good place to stay. And you talk to yourself in ways that make you happy to be here. Learning how to talk to yourself in the proper way is a huge part of the meditation. It's a huge part of the training, because it helps you develop the right attitude if you learn how to talk to yourself well. You could sit here and be miserable, complaining to yourself, it's too hot, it's too cold, too many people in the room. All kinds of things you could complain about, and you can make yourself miserable. And you can ask yourself, why? There are other things you can talk about. You're free here to have nothing else that you have to do, no other responsibilities right now. Just learn how to be fully aware of what you've got right here in the body. And you can talk to yourself about the breath. What kind of breathing feels good right now? And what would it mean to feel good? Sometimes feeling good means energizing, sometimes it means relaxing. Sometimes you want to breathe in a way that makes the body feel buoyant, other times you want to make it feel more solid and settled. It's entirely up to you. This is one of the good parts of concentration practice, is you're trying to create something that feels really good right now. So stretch your imagination as to how good the body could feel right now. And if you spend the hour talking to yourself about the breath, that's perfectly fine. Or if you decide that after a while the breath feels good enough, you can just settle in and be one with the breath. Your awareness of your hands is in your hands. Your awareness of your chest is in your chest. Everything is where it belongs. And you don't have to talk about the breath. Just hold in mind their perception, breath, spreading through the body. Everything working together in harmony. And if that's enough to keep you here, fine. The less you have to do to maintain this steady sense of being right here, the better. But if when you stop talking to yourself about the breath, you lose focus, go back to talking to yourself. Do what has to be done. We're not in a jhana race here, trying to get into the deepest jhanas as fast as we can. Do what needs to be done to keep the mind right here. Did you notice, as we're talking about this, there are certain perceptions to hold in mind, backing into the body, breath bathing the body, breath bathing your awareness. Those images you can hold in mind. And if you find that they help, fine. You can think of the body as a big sponge. As you breathe in, breath is coming in from all directions, going out in all directions as you breathe out. Whatever image helps you stay here, whatever image helps to maximize the sense of well-being and pleasure refreshment that you get. Use that perception. So settle in. Feel the breath. Everywhere you can think of in the body. You're going to make a survey from the head down to the toes, down to the fingers, the spaces between the toes, the spaces between the fingers. You can think of a cocoon of breath energy around the body. Whatever works to get the mind to settle in, to enter and remain, to enter and dwell. It's 
That's the state of mind we're working at. Now it's going to be useful for other purposes, but learn how to do this well. Be sensitive to what you're doing. This is John Fuang noted one time. The commentaries say that breath meditation is suitable for everybody. He said he didn't find that to be the case. It's suitable for people who are sensitive, who pay attention. So try to be as attentive as you can, as sensitive as you can to how the energy feels, what would make it feel good, and how you can adjust it in a way that is not forcing it too much. If you force it, then it's not going to be comfortable. You have to think about allowing. Allow yourself to stay here. Allow yourself to back into the body. Allow the breath to bathe you. and see what happens as a result, allowing yourself to stay right here. Again, this is going against a lot of old habits. As I said today, you may be very conscious of the fact that you're fabricating the breath, fabricating your inner conversation, fabricating the perceptions you're holding in mind, because they're different from the ones you've been fabricating all along. It's not like you're suddenly being asked to do direct thought and evaluation and you never did it before. It's what the mind is doing all the time. We're breathing all the time, talking to ourselves all the time, holding perceptions in mind, focusing on feelings. It's something we're doing all the time. We're just learning how to adjust it in a new way. So instead of doing these things for the purpose of wandering around, it's for the purpose of settling in and being curious to see what happens as you stay here and resist the temptation to say, well, what's next? Where can I go next? What's next is going to be here, so stay right here. The image they use in Thailand is like being a hunter. You find a good spot, you have no idea when the game is going to come, but you put yourself in a spot where it's likely to come. And then you're patient and you watch. That's how you get to see things you never saw before. 